An interesting question from Brenda. Um, it's about, can one's adrenals be stressed due to uh, following a form of calorie restriction, which you've talked about? If so, what are the symptoms of stressed adrenals and the consequences of that condition? The reason for my question, I recently read an article where the author was warning of the possibility of uh, stressed adrenals if you did not eat a, a good meal in the morning from Brenda. Okay. Well, a good meal in the morning is called breaking your fast. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, a, a drover's breakfast is just getting up and having a pee and having a look around. <laughs> um, I, I recommend people have more of a drover's breakfast. You know, <laughs> uh, when you just get up and have a pee and you have a look around and that's your breakfast. <laughs> but, um, that was good um, breakfast, okay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, um, so now um, your adrenal function requires um, various amino acids um, and one of them that it needs is called tyrosinase and tyrosinase is, is very important for uh, production of norepinephrine um, and tyrosinase you only find in vitamin C. Hmm. When you have proper intestinal flora it produces vitamin C but if you don't have proper intestinal flora then Persons have to have taken something in that has vitamin C. Okay. But when when um, when the body can have become stressed and things, it cannot have proper levels of vitamin C, um, and so under those conditions, it could be a lot more dryness and adrenal exhaustion and this sort of thing. So we can say then that most of us probably do not have proper intestinal flora. So maybe the vitamin C could be good. Uh, a uh, food source of vitamin C of some kind, rose hips or yeah. something like yeah, that. Now, it could be good for the adrenals. Oh my God, absolutely! Yeah, like and what's that it's other what's that other herb that's very high in vitamin C? Um, 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 um. Well, the, the highest herbs, the highest um, uh, vitamin C is just a sort of catch-all phrase to uh, um, define uh, a substance which has an oxygen mm-hmm. reduction. Absorbency capacity. All right. It's called an ORAC value. Mm-hmm. Um, and in the, the fruits on the earth that have the highest ORAC value is the Tasmanian pepper, mountain pepper, <laughs> which is in the thousands, thousands of, you know, times more than any closest fruit to it. And then the next is the kakadu fruit. <laughs> um, and, um, and then after that is the uh, umbuchi peach um, uh, from the Raku Islands of uh, Japan. Um, so they are the three highest fruits in the world which have the highest oxygen reduction absorbency capacity. Um, but, um, what about here in the States? What are some good sources of high ORAC for us in um, the United States? Um, well, uh, our uh, Super C formula, which is made from a Native American herbs, elderberry, bilberry, um, and then, of course, our hibiscus and uh, um, rose hips, as you mentioned, um, and uh, various wild sort of citrus and things. Um, um, the uh, super C formula that we have is made up out of these things. And you can tell, you can just put a third or a half a teaspoon in a, in a cup and you'll notice that the, the color of that is just outrageous. Hmm. I mean, it's unbelievable. And it's got a beautiful, full flavor. Um, you've got more in that cup um, as a tea, for instance, than you could have um, if you ate a box of oranges that wouldn't be criminal. <laughs> That's called super so, C. And yes. what about the people um, going to add fruits for vitamin C, uh, just the actual fruit themselves? What are some of the highest ones here? Um, well, um, probably one of the greatest ones, which is always talked about, and even in the Bible, is the pomegranate. Pomegranate. Uh, hmm. Yes. And even-